I'm Roseanne with Percello Olive Oil coming back to um, show you some other information about olive oil. Um, thank you so much for clicking on this link and watching this video. My mission really is to share little bits and pieces of information that I find may be helpful to you as you purchase your olive oil or your vinegar or um, you know just to enhance your life and enhance your kitchen experience. So today what I thought I would do is, is go over how olive oil sommeliers, experts, choose and determine how those olive oils become award winners. There are, um, there are some attributes that are very important to acknowledge. And then there's also these descriptors that kind of, um, they're more subjective. So when an olive oil sommelier come they are trained in um, very specific ways to taste olive oil. So the first thing that they, and this was when I did my, um, my olive oil sommelier training, which was years ago, so I really am not an expert. I am just, um, uh, I, I know a little bit, and um, I have not been practicing as much as the experts because these olive oil experts are pretty amazing. So the first thing is for the official olive oil tasting, they want a, a blue container because they don't want to be swayed by the color of the olive oil. Some people might consider, oh, it's dark green. It might be better than one that's clear. That's, that's not true. How they determine if it's an award-winning olive oil is in these glass containers. Um, and they usually have a glass lid on the top, so they don't have any lotions on their hands, they don't have any perfume, um, they shouldn't drink coffee before they go, and they should do it in the morning, because that's when your taste buds are the most awake, should I say, and that haven't been kind of disrupted with all the food, any, anything spicy, so they just want everything to be very um, clean when they come in. So there are attributes and descriptors. The attributes are fruity, and that's really when they slurp it in and they taste it in their um, nasal, their retro nasal area. And then there's the bitterness where they have that on the taste buds. And then they have the pungency, which is in the back of the throat. So those are the three main characteristics that they rate the olive oil on. And then the descriptors are like fruity, um, ripe fruit, green fruit. Uh, there's other types of aromas. Um, because some of the descriptors are green artichoke, green tomato leaves, or almond, or um, like a ripe, like a ripe fruit, and you could tell the difference between the green olive oils and the ripe olive oils by the aroma. So um, I thought what I could do for you today, just for some for some fun, is show you how they do the olive oil tasting. Now I don't have a glass container for this, but you pour a little olive oil in. And what's really important is that you have enough in here and you swirl it around. So if I had the glass lid, I put the glass lid on here, but I put my hand over it, it's the best I got. And you swirl it around and then, oh, you smell it. But you wanna smell it just as you lift the lid. And then you have the aroma and this kind of smells like fresh green grass. And I know that some um, experts don't like using things like grass that you don't really eat but that's kind of what it smells like it smells just like fresh green leaves uh, freshly mowed um, and then they taste it so they take a nice sip of it swirl it around their mouth and then they do this like this mm. and with that that's where it gets to the retronasal area you get the taste on your taste buds and then <clears throat> like right now I can feel the bitterness, the spiciness in my throat. And then you clean your palate with some mineral water. Sparkling water because you can really <clears throat> cough. And that's how they do the olive oil tasting. And the experts can determine if this olive oil is fresh, if it's, if it has the right balance between the pungency, which is the spiciness and the fruitiness and the bitterness. And they can tell also by if there's any defects in the extra virgin olive oil. In extra virgin olive oil, they're not allowed any defects. 
So um, when you get an extra virgin olive oil, it's, um, it's really, really, really good. And then when you go to the virgin olive oils, they're allowed to have a few defects um, when it's just virgin olive oil. Anyway, each different olive oil is going to present with the different balance between the pungency and um, the bitterness and the fruitiness. So I hope that this has been informational and fun. Um, it's really fun to taste these in a party. I used to have Grove gatherings where we all would come together as a group and I would explain the different varieties of olive oils. We do the tastings and do some food pairings. And um, that's really fun because you could tell how the olive oil enhances your food um, when you compare the different olive oils with the same food. Um, so anyway, I hope it was informational and helpful and I will see you next time. Thanks and have a great day. Ciao for now.